Hello, this is Mike, and welcome to PHP Programming Lesson 5, Video 58. And that magical day has finally arrived. You have worked really hard. You've gone through four lessons of PHP, each one about 15 videos. Lesson 1 on Eclipse and Basic PHP. Lesson 2 on Control Logic, Functions and Classes. Three on Database Design. And uh, four, Sessions, Login, and Security. And finally today, we're going to start building Facebook applications. Now, we've been building applications all along through this PHP course. But this is the big one. This is the one that actually people use and they see on the web. And what are we going to do? Well, we're going to just take the course that we've created and put it on Facebook. And so here's the application right here. Let me run it real quick so you can see it. So you do see a 3D fade in with the PHP and 5 Lessons by Lively. There are state transitions, so you can transition to different uh, portions of the course. Everything is being brought in dynamically through XML. So all these labels and titles are actually coming from an XML backend. You can see you have a dynamic filter. So when you roll over, you get glows on your uh, buttons here. Let's go back to home. You see there's a fade or transition going between different states. There's a little transition right there. That's Flash Catalyst code. But we're going to show you how to hand code that Flash Catalyst. The wonderful classes there that we're going to be using and showing you how to use. A little transition right there once again. And the rotations themselves are dynamics. So these are not images that have been rotated in Photoshop and pasted in here. These are actually dynamically rotated containers. So we'll show you how to do that in the code as well. A number of things in this code it looks very simple, but, but a lot of stuff you're not going to find anywhere else on the web. We're going to show you how to use tween light and do 3D transitions. We're going to show you how to build that XML backend. We're going to show you how to make states and fade transitions. We're going to show you how to use formatted text, and you may look a long time on the web before you find out how to do this, and we're going to show you how to bring in that formatted text. What do I mean by that? Well, all this text right here is actually HTML formatted, and I'm actually bringing that into the Spark containers. So, for example, if you take a look at this assignment, though it looks simple, it has all HTML. So you can actually bring HTML into those containers, but it's actually not trivial in a sense. It's not just as straightforward as it used to be, and we'll show you how to do that as well. Also, we're going to show you that dynamic rotation, dynamic filters. We build a Photoshop back in here, and I'm going to show you how to actually do that in Photoshop step by step. And finally, embedded images. Uh, simple to do, but you may not be familiar with the code. We'll show you how to do that. And all this weighs in, right? you bet, at 180K. Not bad. And once we're done with all that, we're going to put this on Facebook and let you rock and roll with it. So thanks for listening. We're going to get started with building this application next time. Hey, this is Mike Lively. I'll see you next time. Happy coding!